previously on The Traveling Teensis. In God's country, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does God's country also include these mosquitoes? Hey, you guys should <laughs> A lot of mosquitoes. We are free. Here we are in Spokane, Washington. It's uh, August, and again, we are here during the wildfires. Now, I say wildfires, there's a fire burning not far from here, maybe 60 miles north from here, but the air quality is like 155, it's like really bad. But I don't know if you can tell in the background, you can kind of see the smoke back there, that's a mountain back, or a big hill back here, which you can barely see, all of that is smoke. Pretty crazy stuff. Teens, what are you working on right now? I'm working on our route, and um, what we're going to do... Well, this part's after we leave Michigan, but we were just talking about getting to Michigan and what we were going to do and how we were going to get there, and mm -hmm. we're only two weeks, really, less than, yeah, less than two weeks away from leaving here, so we really yeah. need to know where we're going and what we're going to do how we're going to get there, so we were just kind of planning that out, talking about roots. Which direction is which? And it was a toasty one today. We were about 100, 100 degrees here today, I think. Yeah. 100, yeah, I think we saw 99 I for think, sure. Yeah, so uh, it was hot, it, it got really toasted. hot. The van got pretty hot this afternoon, she but did. She got a all warm. our upgrades are like, oh my god, night and day difference. Mm -hmm. I mean, we sustained, like, I stayed out there all afternoon, so we put uh, we put uh, vinyl on the outside, um, oh, that with made magnets all the difference on the two windows that the sun was hitting directly. We put the awning out too to kind of provide shade. But the uh, vinyl definitely makes uh, oh, huge. a, a that huge was day. The vinyl and then all the insulative. We're we, thankful. We've done pretty well. It's not bad in there. feels pretty good. The post is doing all right. We just checked on her, and it's cooling off now. It's the fact that we're sitting outside. So, yeah. Here we are golfing right. in the rain. God bless America. It's, it's wet. Been, it's been 103 for the last three days when we go golfing, and now it's 70 with the rain. But, hey, at least it's not as hot as 103. Mm -hmm. Not windy. That. It's wet, but it's fine. Perfect. This is a house that we moved into when we first came to Spokane. Danny and I stayed up top there where they uh, kept the uh, balcony off limits from us, but Danny tried to throw me off. I did not. You don't remember that? I, what Danny. I did do is light fires on the side of the house. Sweet. <laughs> we were bull pyromaniacs. Oh, we always remember when we tried to blow up the road with the gasoline uh, yes, mouth and kicked awful. it over? Uh -huh. And I ran because I was scared. Turn around, you were <laughs> And Gone. then you had to, all the joggers had to help you put it out. Oh, no, sweet. I had it all put out by the time they got there, and they asked, "Are you all right?" Now, oh, yeah, it's all under control. Back then, they were like, "Okay." Mm -hmm. All right, teens, tell me about your day. Went golfing with my brothers in the rain, and it was amazing. And now we're gonna go out to dinner to Pathfinders. Prospectors. Oh, I'm sorry. Prospectors. Oh, there goes mom. Oh, here comes mom. And we're super oh. excited. Teens, thank you for doing this with me. Smoggy You're welcome. Are you videoing Tainsay's Archery? Yeah. Cheers. You're supposed to say thanks. Oh, I'm just supposed to say thanks, thanks. Sorry. We're going to bowl and pitcher to dump our tanks and then head over to Danny's house. Here we are in Spokane, Washington with an amazing storm a brewing and a rolling in. It looks amazing, and if we're lucky, maybe I'll get a lightning strike. Mm -hmm. Here is the beautiful sunset that we have witnessed from after Where's the Rachel? storm. <laughs> <laughs> that is just mind blowing. <laughs> this is a sunset that's just absolutely spectacular after the rain. Taints, is that a rainbow? Teens, there's a rainbow. It's beautiful. And it ends at Galati. Aww. How beautiful is that? <laughs> Pretty awesome. On the back side of Galati. Oh. oh. <laughs> we are free. <laughs> that money that is, Teens. So beautiful, Tans. Oh, cool to be here so with thankful you. to be with my Tans. This has been home now for what is it, Puss? Just over eight weeks. Just over eight weeks. Yeah, this is where we spend our days working. Brian hung up some new 
hooks for us, huh? He did that this week. That was super exciting. Here's Gladys. This is where we spend our time working. It's the couch Brian built for us. Opens up real nice. It's working quite slick. <laughs> Yet another amazing sunset here in Spokane, Washington. Mama Pings. Mama Have you gone? <laughs> Have you gone? What? Have We're good, good, good. Take a picture. I didn't think they could go that high. <laughs> no, that's a good one. So you're on. What do we got going on, Terrence? We're getting ready to head out today. Getting ready to head out today. I'm uh, changing the batteries in our TPMS system to ensure that they are up to uh, speed and working properly. Just to make sure, but uh, yeah, I think we did. We did a bunch of maintenance. Got all the. We checked all the fluids. My brother, brother John, helped me uh, yesterday. Check all fluids. I think we're all good with everything. Coolant and brake fluid and oil and tranny fluid. Everything looks good. So, just getting everything kind of uh, buttoned up and getting everything ready to go for our trip that we'll be taking across uh, from Washington to Michigan. Here we are on the road again. On the road again, Tainsey. On the road again. It's bittersweet this time. We're excited to be on the road again for the new adventures that lie ahead, but sad to leave the, uh, sad to say goodbye to the family for a yeah. while. So, um, yeah. yeah, hopefully we'll get to see them maybe this spring. They come down and visit us, but, um, yeah, we had a wonderful time up here. It was nice to be able to spend chunk of our summer with the family. We are very, very grateful for the opportunities that Gladys has allowed us. So we love you guys. Thank you for a wonderful time. Awesome. We are crossing into Idaho for the well like third time on this trip. We've gone through it and back I guess. So <laughs> this time we're passing through though and we will not see Idaho again until next year. So Idaho Here we are in Missoula, Montana. This is a beautiful river out here. There's some gentlemen out there fly fishing. And here is the M on top of the mountain for Missoula, Montana. And here is Matinsey. <laughs> Tansy, what do you think of Missoula? It's nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's nice. It's got a lot of locks on the bridge. Locks on the lock. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> hey there, teens. We are leaving Cabela's. It was our first day or night back on the road since we left the family. And so we sat in Cabela's parking lot and worked this morning. Um, got a good five hours in, I think. So I uh, got in a good solid day. So now we're gonna go drive. Our goal is to make it to Billings, Montana, about six yeah, hours. Six hours, man. On the road again. On the road again. So here we are in a Sam's parking lot. My taints is over here, working in the kitchen. And uh, you can see we're in the parking lot. Here's a van. We're parked next to a van over here. And this is what it's like living on the road. Oh, you turn the lights off. <laughs> spent the night in Billings, Montana, and this will probably be our, yeah, this will be our last day in Montana. We're headed out. We got something special coming up here. We, our next state that we are going to is going to be a first for both of us. Neither one of us have ever been to North Dakota, so we'll be able to check another state off of our list, and we get to do it together. Woohoo! Wednesday. Wednesday. So it's been really quiet out here. It's actually been nice. We 
got about four hours down, two to go. Oh, here, here it comes, James. Here it comes. Here it comes, North Dakota. Oh, yeah. First time we've both been here. Yep. We're coming together. Oh. Welcome to North Dakota. A legendary. legendary. Woohoo! I cannot believe it. That's a leak. Holy f***. <laughs> well, yeah, you got pressure on it. Is that why it's leaking? Yeah. Holy s***, man. Like, thank God. Uh, <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> man, I was so lucky. We drove six hours yesterday. Teens, what are you driving? That doesn't look like Gladys. Teens, I'm driving a Napa Ford truck. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a little... Turn right here. So Gladys uh, overheated once again. This time it's the water pump. I think just all our it's an old system, so weak links are now that everything's fixed, everything else is going out. Anyway, we're at Napa in New Salem, and they were so awesome that they let us use their truck to go out for breakfast. So what I will say is we are so thankful that a when she she didn't overheat like last time. She was running hot, and because of what happened last time, we knew to pull over immediately. And we were just happened to be right by a rest area. So we pulled in and spent the night there, topped her off with coolant, and realized when we pulled over, she was leaking a lot of coolant. So when we went into the garage, seen, God bless you, thank you so much for your help. He uh, pressured up the system and it just poured out the water pump. <laughs> so like Mary said, it's just the weak link that we've replaced all these parts. The water pump is like the last old piece to go. So he's gonna they actually and thankful they actually had the, the uh, part in stock so they can actually replace it they didn't have to order it and scene happens to have lived in Gilbert for 12 years so he's from Arizona too <laughs> so, and we're in a town of about 250 people yay <laughs> so how crazy is that so we're Off super to breakfast thankful. super thankful working in the uh, garage that's working on Gladys right now uh, it's been uh, all day they've got the water pump replaced and there was another hose, the last hose that was just totally shot too, they had to replace that. So uh, got a lot of work done today, which is good. And uh, as you can see, this has been our uh, office for half the day. And there's Taints, hello Taints. And here we are, working. That is the shop. But we'll have Gladys back in about a half hour, so I'm super stoked. Here we are in Fargo. That is our view. Uh, Taints found an amazing state, was it a state park? A public campground. Public campground here in Fargo, which is down by this river. I think it's like a city or county park. And here we are with our screen up. We're about to have ourselves a little din din and relax with this beautiful view. It's amazing. So yeah, today we, uh, you know, we had our, our di issue yesterday with the uh, van getting too hot. We uh, brought it to New Salem, uh, North Dakota, with this amazing garage, Shane. He uh, replaced the water pump and another hose. We drove about three hours or so, about three, three and a half hours from New Salem to uh, Fargo, and no issues. It was ran like a dream. So I think, that being said, our coolant issues are finally behind us. Yay! But we'll see. But no, I'm, I'm sure they are. Uh, but yeah, so we're excited to get this meal in and uh, chill for the evening after uh, the last 25 hours have been kind of hectic. We are ready. Well, let my tent so much. Let my tent. Yes, we have this awesome view out our front window of the Riva. Next time on The Traveling Teenses. 